Okay, this is a EF 40mm f2.8 STM Canon lens. Um, so why did I get this? Um, this is my original lens, which is a 55mm. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bulky one. Um, then I've got my 300, etc., which are bigger. This is my 3 and 400. Um, but as you can see with the 40, it takes up no size what's, uh, space whatsoever, which is important for being able to take it to work. I can keep this in my bag. I'm going to get the rubber frame for this to protect it, but I can pretty much put that in my pocket. Now, the quality on it is actually better than my 55. Um, I've taken a few pictures with it already. The only thing that's a bit strange is when, when you're using the lens, it, it does make this grinding sound. Let's, let's see if I can make it make the noise. So it's on manual focus at the moment. Switched on. Can't hear it. But basically it sounds as if the motor's grinding, but what it what it actually is is a softening mode because this one's been geared towards videos, uh for doing videos. So basically it dampens the sound of the movement when you're uh doing an autofocus. So it is pretty good for using this because this is a 650D which also has the video on it which for my YouTube videos I'll start using this a bit more um, because the quality will be better than my little pinhole camera on my Samsung. Um, but yeah, it, reviews on this lens has been good everywhere. I haven't heard anybody say anything negative about it to the point that a lot of people are dropping the larger lenses. Um, Let's do a comparison. My 55 next to it, you can see, is a huge difference. Um, but a lot of people are actually dropping the bigger stuff because half the time, photos are about where you are at the time. Um, so, with having a smaller camera, you're more likely to take more photos and be in the right place at the right time um, and have your camera handy. Um, I know my father, when he went to New Zealand, a lot of the best photos he could have had um by the time you got the camera in that out things had moved off because most of it was wildlife so yeah so far so good tried it but, um just a little bit noisy but like i said that's to do with the sound dampening um but we'll be using this a bit more on videos um so you're about to see or try and hear so you'll be able to hear and see the quality of it later on once we start using it on other videos that we do. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, let's try a bit of uh, focus testing um, on the video. I'm currently about two feet away. As you can see, it's focusing all right. A little bit closer. It's struggling at that, but I wouldn't be actually filming that close, but I just wanted to show it's automatic focusing. You probably can't hear it, which is what I'm after. If I go a bit further out, this is about six feet away. It's doing the job perfectly. Um, I can't even hear that. That's, that's pretty good, I'm happy with that. Um, just need a Fiesta or something to video next. Thanks for watching.